Good morning everybody and welcome to the Mel Sol Golf School. I am Mel Sol, Director of Instruction and Master Professional at a beautiful Paulie's Plantation Golf and Country Club on a pretty warm day. And um, we're going to talk about something that I've done in the past on pitching, which is the clock system. However, today I'm going to modify it slightly to work. I've noticed with my students that I have very specific distances that I'd go. Seven o'clock goes 30 yards, eight o'clock, 40 yards, nine o'clock, 50 yards. But the students, I try and give them distances, but in golf school, we don't have time to go and figure out exactly what works for them. So this is what I want you to do because the clock system works. I'm a very good pitcher of the ball. I know that if I swing to seven o'clock, which would be about here, that if I go through to three o'clock, I'm going to hit that ball pretty close to 30 yards in the air. It might go 28, it might go 32, but it's not going to go 20 and it's not going to go 40. It's going to be roughly where I want it to go. And the same with my eight o'clock goes about 40 yards in the air, my nine o'clock 50, and my 10 o'clock 60. So what I want you to do is get some balls and what you're going to do is you're going to start off with a nine o'clock because that's kind of the easiest one of the group. So I want you to go back to nine o'clock and hit some pitches and hit maybe 10 shots. They're just going to go, I can see in there those are going about 50 yards, but this is what you do. After you've hit 10 shots, Hopefully the range won't be busy that you can actually walk out there. So I want you to pace from here to where that group of ball lands and take the middle of the group. So ignore the front one, ignore the back one, take the middle and note how many paces that went. Then come back here and now hit some shots going just to eight o'clock. So now you're going to go there and again pace it off and then the seven o'clock would be here. Get someone to watch you when you're doing this, like a spouse or a child or somebody, to tell you because a lot of times I'll say to a student, okay, hit a seven o'clock shot and they'll go back there. So most golfers don't have a perception of what seven o'clock and eight o'clock and nine o'clock is. And I usually have to take a, a club and hold it like that. So when they go back, their arm hits that and tells them that they're at whatever o'clock I want them to go to. So sometimes you need someone to tell you, oh, you're swinging too far or you're swinging too short. Very seldom do I have people that swing too short. Usually it's, it's too long. But you need, in order for this to be accurate for you, you need to do that. And then the, the final shot would be a 10 o'clock. For me, that's going to go about 60 yards. So you pace it off. Now, you start off with your most lofted club. In my case, the lob wedge. Some people don't carry a lob wedge. They carry a sand wedge. Do it with your sand wedge. But you note your yardages. And remember, this is going to be airtime. So when you're on the golf course, hopefully you've got a rangefinder. As I said, of the four things a golfer should carry in their bag if they're serious about their golf game is a rangefinder. So if I laser the flag and I know the yardage and I know the softness or hardness of the green, I know roughly where I want to land the ball. So I'll know what my air time is and then I can make an adjustment. For me, in between yardages, so if I want to fly the ball in the air 45, so nine o'clock is 50, eight o'clock is 40, what I'll do is I'll grip it about an inch shorter and swing to nine o'clock. And because I've got a shorter club, club head's not going to be as fast, ball will go in the air about 45. So once you've calculated your own yardages, now you can put them into play on the golf course and start getting your pitches closer to the hole. This is the one shot that will bring your handicap down faster than anything else, faster than working on your putting, faster than working on your driving. This is the scoring club and that will lower your score. People like Luke Donald and Zach Johnson have made great careers in being very good wedge players. So work on your wedges, you'll lower your scores.